hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I haven't actually made one of these recordings for I think over a week because I've been on holiday. I went to Cornwall in the UK and didn't have any access hardly at all to the internet and didn't have anywhere quiet to make a recording. You know, I did actually take a microphone and was hoping to make recordings but I only ended up making a couple of let me bore you to sleep ones and that was it. A few videos. So hope you're well. If you'd like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. The link is on my website. Also on the websites, over 1500 free recordings that you can listen to, stream for free, and also download for free. So, I was thinking about the... Uh, what we could do today. You know, sometimes all you want to do really is just relax. Or, you know, just go to sleep. But there's stuff going on, you know, there's your brain is thinking about stuff, about things that maybe have happened during the day or maybe things that possibly will happen tomorrow maybe you're thinking about issues that you're worried about concerned about someone you care about you know things like that and this is all natural there's nothing wrong with that it's it's just the most natural thing in the world you know if you've got someone do you close to that you love is in hospital or unwell it's natural to be worrying about them to be thinking about them or if you've got an exam tomorrow or a job interview you know it's, it's, it's normal there's nothing more normal than to be thinking about that thing to be concerned about it uh, so although it's normal and it's absolutely natural it's not always helpful. And I think there's something useful about remembering that it's okay to not think about something for a while. And not just that it's okay, not just that you can give yourself permission to let go of that stuff while you relax or while you go to sleep but also to not feel guilty for that what do I mean? well there's some things that maybe we don't want to let go of because we feel that we should be worried about it so for example if my dad was in hospital tomorrow or maybe tonight, do you, you know? There's a part of me, a big part, would probably think to myself, well, I want to worry about him. It's normal to be concerned about his well-being and, uh, you know, I perhaps won't want to let that go even though I need to relax and even though I need to sleep because if he's relying on me for certain things maybe looking after uh, his wife or looking after his house or you know going up and collecting him from hospital whatever the situation may be I need 
to recuperate. I need to sleep. I need to be able to relax for my own health, for my own well-being. So what's necessary in that kind of situation? And that's just, it's quite a specific situation, but I'm sure you can imagine other times, maybe now even, when you've got something on your mind and it's important to you. It's not just random stuff uh, that your mind's throwing out that's of no use. Of course, that does happen too, and that might be the thing that most people would focus on uh, when uh, making a recording such as this. You know, the mind being overactive, and well, actually, sometimes there's a real reason why the mind is overreactive. In, in fact, sometimes you may actually say that the, your mind's not being overactive, it's actually being natural, considering the situation. You're thinking about something because it's important to you. You're worrying because you're a human being and some things we worry about. To say you don't ever worry about anything is... It's just childish. It's just, it's, it's not going to happen. Because we're humans and we care. So, you know, there's levels of worrying when it becomes completely harmful. Maybe to everyone concerned. But I think sometimes just recognizing and accepting that actually... You do care about this thing that you're worrying about or that you're thinking about. And to also realize that by letting it go, you're not really letting it go, you know? You're not ignoring it. By just allowing those concerns and thoughts and worrying to just drop to the floor doesn't mean that you don't care and you know that you know that you care about whatever that is that's happening and when you if you take it literally you're dropping it to the floor it's still going to be there when you wake up to address So when you let go of whatever it is that's on your mind, when you prepare to relax deeply or drift off to sleep, what you're really doing is just taking a break. Just like if you're in the middle of reading a book, you have a bookmark, you close the book, and maybe you just go to sleep. You don't have any concerns about whether or not you're going to be able to remember what page you're on because you've put a bookmark in it. And for something important in your life, you don't need a bookmark. You don't need anything to remind you of what's important to you when you wake up because you don't need that it's going to happen automatically but it's not something that you need to think about when you're relaxing or when you're drifting off to sleep And it's not something that you need to feel guilty about. Because it could be easy to feel guilty. For letting, you know, letting go of something that's important. To choose yourself 
over someone else, which is not what we're doing when we go to sleep. But it could, you know, in some ways we can make it in our mind that, well, I should be worrying about him or I should be concerned about what's happened today. I should be concerned about my my well-being, my, my health, uh, finances, whatever it is. And it's natural to be concerned about that stuff. But not 24 hours a day. So no guilt is required. Because you can pick it up where you left off if you choose tomorrow. So you're allowing yourself to just let go of that stuff for now. Because when you relax, when you drift to sleep, nothing in the world matters. Just in that space. It doesn't mean that nothing matters to you, because of course it does. But in this space, nothing matters. Nothing can matter. This is a safe space to let go of everything completely. No matter what's happened in the past, or what may happen in the future when you relax deeply when you drift to sleep the whole world just stops your world stops And you just drift. And you just relax deeply. Completely guilt free. Because feelings like guilt or shame. Anger. Or any kinds of feelings really. Are not welcome. And are not really available. When you're relaxing deeply. Or when you're drifting to sleep. Nothing is needed. Nothing is required at all. This is a time and a space where everything melts away. It's almost as if you're not even physically here anymore. When you relax so, so deeply, your body melts, your muscles melt, your mind melts away. Because there's nothing to think about in this space. There is no place for worry or any negativity. There's nothing to think about. There's nothing at all required from you except just allowing yourself to relax deeply 
or to just drift asleep naturally. When you realize that there's no effort involved, not one tiny piece of effort, when you realize that there's nothing to do, there's nothing at all for you to do. You find relaxing so deeply really is natural and easy and drifting, drifting into a deep healing slow sleep just happens in its own time without needing any help from you or from any other source Because as you relax even more throughout your body and mind, you realize that it's not you doing this, it's just your body and your mind going into its natural state of deep healing comfort. In the same way as when you drift into deep healing sleep. does feel like the most natural thing in the world that doesn't need you, doesn't need me or anyone or anything as your mind and body just become so deeply relaxed as you move into your natural state of comfort and safety. Outside of that deep healing comfort that spreads through your body and in your mind, pushing you deeper and deeper. every passing second, you may notice that you drift and keep drifting. towards 
stay awake for much longer. Because that natural feeling of drifting into a deep healing sleep now has control. Observe yourself being guided forward into that feeling of either relaxation. Deep, deep sleep, moving slowly, effortlessly, you observe those sensations as you drift even deeper even deeper difficult it is to even focus on observing just how relaxed you feel because that part of you that's observing is also sinking deeply sinking
to 